Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Wednesday, October the 29th. This afternoon I want to look at the uh, Raspberry Pi 4B. Every six months or so I like to reload the operating system just to see what the features are like. And recently I loaded the new Debian uh, Raspberry Pi Debian Trixie, which I found really, really good and stable. So I thought I would uh, just discuss uh, the various applications I put on there and how it works. One of the things I had to do was my desktop doesn't have a micro SD um, reader anymore, so I bought this little device on Amazon. It's quite handy. It's a USB to uh, SD card, so I got my SD card. So I put the micro SD in there and then uh, the SD in that, and I can load the operating system from there. Um, I've got an RTL SDR to receive um, Marine and Air VHF. That's my um, antenna lead-in, RG58. And I've got a GNSS receiver in there, and I've got a USB speaker. When you first um, load the operating system, you have to boot up into a screen and a keyboard and mouse. So what I do <coughs> is I've got a Toshiba television there, and here's some R Raspberry Pi 3B and 2B. Uh, that's an HDMI cable, and that's the uh, I can switch between the, the old one and the new HDMI, the smaller one. And then I got a, um, a mouse and a keyboard. So when you first boot up, what you have to do is set the uh, username, password, location, keyboard style, language, etc. And then uh, I put on I2C under preferences, I2C, VNC, and GPIO, I activate them. And then I'll just look at the antennas outside. <coughs> Uh, there's my uh, marine antenna there, and I've got a GNSS receiver there, uh, which will go back to the uh, RPi 4B. So then we'll look at the blog post and we'll go over the uh, software that I put on uh, the new operating system. Okay, so I'm just looking at the blog post here. Just a quick review here. We have the RPi 4B. Uh, it's in a case, and it has a fan inside as well. That's the uh, USB to micro SD um, adapter for burning the OS. I've got a 4 amp power supply. Previously I had a 3 amp power supply that came with the kit and I find uh, with a 64 bit OS and all the uh, attachments it's just not enough. I get a low voltage alarm so I got a 4 amp supply. That's a USB speaker. I'm operating the RPi over Ethernet with the VNC viewer. That's my GNSS receiver. That's the USB for the speaker and that's my RTL SDR. So Here's a, a quick overview of the connections there. Um, we have USB connections for the GNSS receiver, the RTL, and the speaker. Uh, the VNC viewer opera operates over the Ethernet. And I've got the 4 amp 5 volt supply. And the software I'm installing is the um, Debian Trixie 64 bit OS for the Raspberry Pi and OpenCPN AIS Catcher GNURC and FL Digi. And here's the procedure there for the various uh, uh, softwares. That's for the RPi OS. So there's Raspberry Pi OS downloads. You can use Raspberry Pi Imager, and it'll automatically download the OS for you. Or you can download the OS as an ISO and reference it in the Imager. It's, uh, you know, it's easy uh, either way. I chose the uh, full OS with the extra software just to see what was in it or you can go just with the basic desktop. Uh, to install GNU Radio, that's what you have to do. Um, for uh, Raspberry Pi, you just use sudo apt-get install GNU Radio, and that'll install it. Takes a couple of minutes. And um, for OpenCPN, there's uh, three commands. You uh, put this in to uh, put in the uh, repository to get the uh, software. Then you update, and then you install OpenCPN, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, and there's uh, GQRX. I installed GQRX and FLDG from the soft, from this add remove software from the, um, the control panel on, on Raspberry Pi. So let's just quickly look at what we're receiving here. So I'm looking at the RPi now over VNC Viewer, and we're looking at OP, OpenCPN. The AIS, AIS catcher is very, very sensitive, um, and uh, even though I'm quite far away from the uh, Toronto Harbour here, I've got a whole bunch of contacts here. There's uh, MR Kane, uh, William Lyon McKenzie, Iron Guppy, that's my favorite, and uh, a few others there. And um, with the GNSS receiver, whoops. Uh, 
that's my position up here at uh, uh, north of north of the harbor, and you can see it's getting a full signal. The GNSS receiver receives about 75 satellites, so I don't even have to put the antenna outside. I can just put it in the window, and it'll it'll pick something up. So let's turn that off, and um, let's turn off AIS Catcher, and we'll quickly look at GQRX. Forget there it is. I've set it up to receive uh, both air and uh, marine. I've got two um, bookmarks, bookmarks here. So there's Pearson arrivals there. I don't know if you can hear the speaker. I'll move the computer over. And let's go to the other bookmark. That's Toronto Marine. So that's just a quick review of uh, some of the software. We can also look at GNU Radio. I'll just turn that off. And we'll get GNU Radio here. That's my program from a previous post for um, uh, receiving uh, air. Okay, so anyways, that's just a quick overview of um, the software that I put on the RPi4. I'd like to also put on um, Sat Dump so I can get um, a satellite weather. I think that'd be a, a very good feature. I think uh, it's a little bit involved using Sat Dump. You have to compile from source. So maybe we'll do that in a later video.